What up, family? So today I want to talk about the problems in the black conscious community. First of all, bro, I want to say that that title is stupid. First of all, there's no black does not exist. There's no such thing as being black. If you read the Black's Law Dictionary, black means that you aren't even considered a person. You consider it property. Y'all got to understand that black does not exist. This is a title given to you by your enemy, your oppressor, to make you their property. You are not black. You're not African American. You ain't no, no Negro. You're not none of that stuff. I don't know what you want to call yourself. I mean, I think we indigenous. We Our people are indigenous to the whole entire planet. We indigenous to the whole entire planet, not just America, not just Africa, nothing. We indigenous to the whole entire planet because when the planet first started, it wasn't no countries and all that. It was just a big place where everybody was at. And the first folks that that was here was brown people. That's why our color, our skin color is the same color as what? The soil, man. Didn't the Bible say that the our the people was made from the dust of, of the earth is the dust of the earth brown or is it a uh, 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 white yeah it's it's, it's 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 brown right and second of all consciousness that's a stupid word too because conning con means to cheat somebody out of something she is she is is what's really what they're talking about she is is what's like mental power mental uh, knowing knowing things she is, that's what that means. So when folks are saying conscious, conscious, they're saying conning you, cheating you out of the things that you're supposed to know. So you want to be a black property of the government, consciousness, a, a property of the government who got cheated out of their knowledge. You obviously did because you're calling your, 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 yourself black and you ain't black, right? Okay, okay then. Anyway, I want to get to, 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 to the more like, the more like, I don't know personal stuff within the conscious community that I do not like. Okay, so all the black Facebook groups on like Facebook and stuff. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. Every time you go into these black groups on Facebook, everybody's arguing back and forth all all, all the time, and they not they're arguing back and forth, but they don't never come up with a solution. You can post up there a picture of. Tiger Woods and talk about him all day, but as soon as you say something about people coming together, people making money together, people doing this together, people doing anything positive, all of a sudden you get no replies. And most of the Facebook groups got a, a part where when you post post something, they got to uh, approve your post before it even gets put on there. And my problem is when I'm trying to post my YouTube videos, lots of black groups won't even approve my post, my YouTube video post, because they're jealous. That's the thing, too. Lots of folks in the black conscious community are jealous of each each other. Always trying to hold each other back because they don't want the next person to get more famous than them or something when some, some people aren't even worried about fame. Like, thirdly, everybody's always bashing Christians all the time when they used to be Christians themselves. You used to be the same one running around the church, catching up the Holy Ghost and all that that that, that stuff. You was the same one doing that, preaching to everybody that they should be a Christian or they was going to be in hell. Now you're the same person preach, preaching against Christianity, teaching everybody that if they are a Christian, then they don't go to hell. Pretty much, that's pretty much what y'all y'all are preaching. You pre you preaching that the white man gave us a, a Bible and. Um, all that stuff, and I do recognize that, but there are some things in the Bible that's true. Y'all completely turned away from the whole entire Bible, and some of that stuff is true. Then, then my problem is also how everybody wants to push that gay agenda. Most people don't even like the gay agenda, but they act like they cool with it just so they don't get in trouble at their job or get unfriended by somebody or, or somebody turns on them. They don't want to speak their truth. Because they afraid, they oppressed now because of this gay agenda. Lots, and that's what the black community is all about. LBGT. Everybody acts like they su support gay people. When ten years ago, if you was gay, you was getting cussed out, beat up, even maybe killed. Now all of a sudden, it's all good. I'm not saying I have a problem with it, but I have a problem with folks being fake about how they really feel. Another thing is the black women. Every time you bring up something that they done did. 
They want to tell you how, oh, you did something too. And the white folks do it too. Instead of just owning up to their own response abilities. There's lots of black females out here who like to be in the midst of problems. So they can tell you how they're such a strong, independent black woman. There's lots of black women, black women I see whose fathers will take care of their kids. But they keep the father out of their child's life. And then they call the, the, the father of the child a deadbeat. Calling my Debbie to her family members, his family members, the child, and everybody, and they put themselves in a the position where they have to have to rely on welfare and food stamps just to survive instead of being with a man that you made the child with. Lots of you females out here keep getting with sick niggas on purpose because you want to take advantage of them and hurt them because because you, you've been hurt, and then you mess around and end up getting pregnant by them, and then you end up looking stupid. See, see, that's why I love karma. So anyway, and um, so that's a problem I see with the black women. You never want to own up to your responsibilities. All y'all people want to act like um, you're able to raise a, a a young boy to be a, a man. Like you, you, all y'all keep wanting to play around, play all these egotistical games. You black females want to keep playing all these egotistical games about how you so black and strong and independent that you can. You can uh, live on your own and be on welfare. Now the child has to be with without a father because you want to be e egotistical and pre pretend that you can raise a child on your own without the father. And and then um, then your kids have to go to school broke because you can't afford uh, afford to buy them clothes for the first first day of school because you want to be egotistical. Now your son's growing up to be a homosexual because you want to sit up. And act like you're able to raise a, a, a young boy to, to be a, a, a man without a father. And all this, all this karma is going to come back on you. You will pay the karma for splitting that part of your family like this for egotistical reasons when there were people that were willing to take care of the kids. You're going to pay karma for that. Watch what I say. You might be sitting there right now like, oh, I ain't going to do this. No, watch what I say. You're going to pay whether it's this life or the next life or some other life. You're going to pay. I'm going to move on to the next thing. These these black dudes. The, the dudes. Some of them do want to leave their families and don't want to take care of their, their children. I know that, but there's also a big number that do want to take care of their children and they're not able to. And the dudes always want to be arguing with each other. Constantly back and forth. They're so egotistical. We want to argue with each other instead of come up with a, with a solution. They disagree with each other just to, to disagree and start an argument. And then these black chicks who keep wearing weaves. Okay, we understand that you wear weaves for, for, for protective styles and stuff, but for the sake of our people, can you just wear your natural hair so people can know that we are proud to be who we are instead of us having to be em embarrassed and ashamed because you keep wearing other people's hair on your head? You know what I'm saying? But most of y'all want to be white anyway. So there's lots of problems with the black conscious community. I'm not part of no black conscious community. I don't know what that is. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't really like none of y'all. Y'all ignorant. Y'all stupid. I'm, I'm, it's, I just got to keep it 100%. The stupid is a, a word with a definition. Somebody got to be it. Y'all motherfuckers stupid. You keep arguing with each other. You won't come up with no solutions. You keep keep wanting to be egotistical. Keep putting these children in these hard places because you, you want to be egotistical and teach somebody a, a lesson and um, show everybody that you are independent, strong black men or black woman. And you keep on just destroying our people with this bullshit. Like yesterday, I was telling y'all that guns are for cowards in Africa. If you had a, if you kill somebody um, without giving them a fair chance to fight back. You were tortured and killed. That's how it was in Africa before slavery. If you kill somebody without giving them a chance, or kill somebody in a shysty way, you, you was tortured and killed for that bullshit. And that's exactly what, what guns is. Black niggas were gangbangers riding around, um, um, shooting niggas in, in the back at the corner store like Lil Dojo. They shot him in the back while he was riding his, his, his bike. Bro, that's some sucker stuff. Y'all be walking around acting like y'all so hard with these weapons, these these guns, but where you come from, where, where you, you, you you really come from, if you did that shit, you would be tortured and killed. Y'all gotta understand, man. In order for us to to win this this uh, this game, you gotta go back to the customs of your people. And that's not being a coward. That's respecting each other, loving each other. I know it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. All the shooting folks with guns, gathering up all these guns, trying to have battles with these white people ain't gonna work 
The white people are a destructive race. You are a productive race. I told y'all, in order for you to win this battle, to win this war, to win this game, you got to do what you do best, which is being productive. White people cannot be productive like us. That's why they get all their ideas off us. They can't naturally think about some ideas like we do. That's your job is to be productive. If you be productive, go start you some businesses, go start you some stocks, buy you some land, make you a farm, do whatever you got to do to be productive. Um, make some clothes, do whatever you got to make, do something in your com community, make a block watch group, do something to be productive. Because if you, if you get on that level where they are, where you trying to destroy them, like they trying to destroy you, we you are going to lose. Because they are a destructive race and you are a productive one. So when you are on that field of destruction, you won't get destroyed, my man, my my sister, my whatever you want to be called. You won't get destroyed playing with them on that destructive battlefield. They're going to beat you. So all of y'all sitting up trying to start a race war with them, you don't want it. You already see how how it is now. Black people hold guns like this to the side like, like this. Don't even know how to shoot it properly. The white folks be all in the shooting range with they 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 um they six week old son. He be six six week old. Be shooting shooting the AK uh, 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 40, 47 while this gangbanger is thirty five years old shooting guns to the side like this. You think we really gonna win a race war with them if it in, involves guns? No, we not, man. You just gotta be productive. That's easier anyway. Be productive. Start you some businesses, even if they tear the shit down. Keep trying. You gotta keep going. Because if you get on the destructive path with them, you are going to get destroyed. End of story. Y'all want to talk shit right now and act like I'm some type of cool nigga, but watch what the fuck I say. Because I know y'all niggas ain't, ain't going to listen anyway, and some of y'all still going to start trying to have a race war with, with these niggas, and they're going to blow your shit back. And you you going to be sitting in the spirit world thinking about what the fuck I told you. Okay? So any, anyway, let me see if there's anything else that I uh, want to say. About this black conscious community, I think lots of y'all just on games. Lots of y'all have stolen from the people, and now no, nobody trusts each other. Like um, Dr. Umar Johnson, um, um, Polite, um, Sonetta. Lots, lots of y'all have lied and stolen money from from the people, and now the people don't even trust each each other, and it's really a shame. So that's the things I don't like about the black conscious community. It's a shame. Black folks don't have respect for each other, don't have no love for each other, that they really have been brainwashed to what the white man has said about us. And now every time a black person sees another black person, they don't respect them because they know how the rest of the world looks at us when we are the fathers and mothers of creation. So it's a really sad, really terrible situation we're in. But how you go overcome it is by being productive like you were from the jump. I'm not talking about creating all type of inventions that destroy the earth. I'm talking about being real productive. How are you going to be productive if your inventions is destroying the earth, man? You got to create things that are environmentally friendly so it benefits the earth and the people on the earth because we are the earth. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to check out. Peace. I'll see y'all later. I hope, hope you have a good day. I love y'all. Black people, hey, stay up, man. And stop calling yourself black. Call yourself indigenous, aboriginal, something. Find you something. That doesn't make you property of the United States government. Okay? Peace out, man.